piss on feet can be there. Well, and when I say piss on feet, I mean me, Papa Pig. I can be there anytime. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Well, that sounds great. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. Yep. Me, Papa Pig. By myself. That's all you need. All right. Bye. What was that? That was the wrong number. All right. Um, this studio um, is uh, the same studio that uh, the Beatles have recorded in. Uh, Led Zeppelin. I call it the Magic Room. Uh, magic Room. Um, uh, the Dragon Room. Or just the dungeon of sex. Is that your, uh, your laundry basket in there? Is this your room? Oh, there's a bed in there. This is more of a retreat to, to really get that music. I mean, get we, your mail sent here? Yeah. At first, the documentary was supposed to be filmed by Baby Pig, but. Uh, well, basically it was amateur hour with Baby Pig because he put me in a very negative light. He doesn't, doesn't know what he's doing. He did some camera angles that were very unflattering to my body. I think that I was off to a much better start at the beginning of the film, but Papa Pig wants to bring in his crew. You know, that's fine with me. He might be cute, but he is a ferocious beast. Ah! Oh God! Oh so this is where the magic happens. Um, you know, uh, this is the the master computer. Um, you know, uh, this is where we work on our tracks. I pop my penis in your face. Mm. Face, face, face. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I've really found an appreciation for gorilla filmmaking. I mean, it's really nice to see the lower primates being able to do what humans can do. Now, I didn't want to go as far as to get a actual primate to film this, but I got the next best thing. They kind of look like primates, so I, I say this is more of an orangutan filmmaking session more than anything else. Set it by. I really hired an amazing film crew. They uh, have done several movies, uh, Blair Witch, Cloverfield, I think they did a little bit of Selena and Cars. It just really seems amateurish. Uh, there's not even anybody behind that camera. I'm, I'm gonna move this light stand. This is fucking ridiculous. I'm not quite sure what Baby Pig's problem is with the film crew. I think they're doing a really professional job. I think they're doing some things that are very artsy and very appropriate for this kind of band. I mean, it's a lot of stuff that, you know, Baby Pig is just jealous. And I think that his problem is that if he would take a look and see how they're doing things, he would find out that this is a very professional staff and they're doing a, a bang up job getting things together. I mean, it's really impressive the kind of stuff that they're doing. I, I, I just think that Baby Pig needs to maybe go to school and really learn how to do this stuff because he doesn't know anything. Project. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I'm really glad you did that. Six Ab World of the Pig would probably be most like 
the abominable snowman. It was something that just came out of nowhere. The first one, you know, was an, it was a new venture for us. Everybody was paying attention. Everybody was looking for it. Everybody was seeing it. It's kind of like the time when you lose your V-card. You know, it, it got going, you were excited. It ended pretty quickly. And uh, what came of it was, uh, was awesome and uh, awkward and magical all at the same time. I hate my teddy bear! It had pubic hair! The second CD was kind of like when U2 went disco. It could run and it could sniff its own butt at the same time. People were just kind of like, what the fuck did I just hear? But in a good way, not in a crappy way. It was like Christmas. It was, it was amazing. You didn't know those, that, that type of magic existed in the world. And it was right there in front of you. We ate people, literally, on that second album. I miss you, Fido! Why did you run under that blazer? You bit the mailman! Third time's a charm would probably be like a horse. The only way I can say or describe the third CD is two chicks at one time. Awesome. It's very similar to what it would be like if uh, Jimmy Page and Jay-Z went on tour. I, I think this goes for both of us when we talk about our first show. I mean, Wembley Stadium, we had hundreds of thousands of people. The music just came together that one night and it was just beautiful. I, I remember looking out at the crowd and just the sea of people. And I pointed out that microphone and they're just singing our lyrics. I mean, there's, there's no better, there's no better high than that. I mean, I remember what you said was, Anywhere near the truth. You just don't live the dream. You don't live <laughs> You're living too much of the dream. Oh boy. Uh, honestly, I think you can use some more lyrics. I drink blood from Jack Skellington's hand! I wish everyone in the world would drop dead! You really think it needs more? I mean, yeah. There's really Yes. If I've learned anything from my early career as a stand-up comedian, it's that if you want something done, you gotta do it yourself. <laughs> hey everybody, hey. Um, so how you guys doing tonight? Looks like a good crowd. My name's Alex Vinnie Stoner. And um, I just flew in and gosh, my arms are so tired. <laughs> Yeah, and I got a bag of peanuts on the airplane, and mm, they weren't very good. No, no, they were not. Have you guys heard the one about the dead baby? Not funny! Do Seinfeld! I, I don't do Seinfeld. Do I Seinfeld! I can't. Sir, please stop heckling Kiss me. Kiss my ass! Sir, can you please stop heckling me? You're really starting to upset me right now. Get I'm, off the stage! I'm really starting to get mad right now. Get off can the we, stage! Can we, Fuck can you! you. Do you not understand music? Do you not understand creativity? This doesn't make any sense to me. That's because you're not an artist. This just sounds like a fourth grader with ADD wrote this. I mean, your mom's a fourth grader with ADD. Then who wrote that? I'm gonna I'm gonna read this back to you. Read it. I'm gonna read it back to you, and maybe you're something. You're about to feel stupid. Maybe something in your head will process and realize. This doesn't make sense. Porcelain airbrush titty bag treats. What? Do you not understand music? Do you not understand creativity? Okay, how about we go to the second verse? For, uh, the first sentence right here. I'm immediately gonna have to throw a red flag. Don't they esta your ass on a plate? That's not even a comprehensible sentence. That's half Spanish and half English. It's Spanglish. I thought you were trying to write a serious song here. This is piss. Everything you just read makes complete sense to me. Why don't you really look in deep? Read that, that turtleneck one again. Penis embargo royal turtleneck. Piracy on the Panama Canal. Pirates in the P Panama Canal. Uh, is that what you're prophesizing in this? Well, that's part of it. Semen in a bag. What do you think that means? I... Exactly. Exactly. 
What, what immediately comes to mind is a bag of semen. Well, that's like somebody you're not jerking an off into a zip. You're not bag. an artist because that what that means is that there's some little kids over in Europe that watch too many James Bond movies. How is this a prophecy? You titled it Papa Pig Prophecy. Nothing because here is prophesizing anything other than your mental retardation. No. What the hell is a tinsel covered Christmas tip? If you don't know, you've never had one. And I feel sorry for you. And then you end it by saying, you're semen in a bag. Eat a boob. Well, you know... You look, can't eat boobs. You tell that to one of those little Egyptians in Somalia that you can't eat a boob. Because guaranteed... And you know what? And you're not even looking... You're not even looking at the symbol. Is, is this art? Sim- yes, it's art. You're damn right it's art. <laughs> Papa Pig spent $300 on a Blackberry, and then he said that we could have the rest of the money that he didn't spend to get phones for us. This bad boy right here, 74 cents. That's what he left me. Have you seen the bill? No. This bill is $3,000. For what? It's probably because Papa Pig got that Blackberry. Well, usually I would blame it on him, but I... I can't. You sent over 10,000 picture messages. What are you sending pictures of that much? 10,000 picture messages? What What could he be looking at? If there was a Boobasaurus Rex, I would have a PhD in paleontology. How many pictures of boobs do you need? I mean, I need a lot. How many a lot of boobs. I love titties. I don't know. Oh, no, see, you didn't even get to the good stuff. Hey, hang on, hang on. Let, let me... No, I'm... No, this one's good. Hang on. Can boobs pay for bills? Realistically, no. Boobs can't pay for bills. But if they could pay for bills, I would not pay for my bills with the boobs. I would keep the boobs and fuck them. Well, this should probably start here. This will help with the bills. What are you wearing? Is that mine? I uh, bought my first one on a dare, and I enjoyed it so much that I decided to exclusively wear them. Now, I, I threw out my boxers, my briefs, everything, silk underwear, it's all gone. I didn't think it through, though, because I only have one thong, and I'm not buying another one. They're expensive. It's, it's pretty comfortable, though, right? I, got yeah, I, I love them. Yeah, I know. I wear them. wear my date nights. Yeah, they're good. <laughs> I wear them when I'm sexting. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Uh, is that that picture of you? Oh, you might you might have seen one of those. Was it one with a little bit of brain hanging out? I, uh, I signed up for a Twitter account because I really wanted to get in touch with my fans. I hired us a manager. You hired a manager without asking? I just, I thought that it'd be a good idea if we had a manager and he seems like a real nice guy. He's a really nice guy. That's probably him now. Oh, hey, what's up, Jay? Yeah, yeah, what's going on? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 What's happening, buddy? Oh, no, man. There's this one guy in the Yukon Territory up in Canada. Really digging it. Really digging it. I'm also uh, uh, Twitter friends with uh, MC Hammer and P. Diddy. I'm ready to get going, so... Uh, the recording studio is just right up to the top of the stairs over to the left. All right. So we're going on up. And all right. Then, so don't be yeah. too long. Yeah, all right. Hold on, hold on. Don't worry about it. Yeah. You don't even know this guy. Oh, no. He's just a really nice guy, man. Just come upstairs. We're going to start recording. It's going to be great. It's going to be all great. Right. Yes. I am really ready to get this done. All right. Let's get this stuff started. Let's get boys, boys ready. Yeah, I'm ready. All right. All right. Boys ready? What the fuck? Man, it's cool. Come hey, on, that shirt kind of, you know, it, it makes me... No, this is order. fucked up. No, this is, it, yeah, it's fine. What is your problem? Oh, bro, come here. Come on. No, 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 good. no, no. Like, fuck that. I quit. What? What? Oh, what? come on, man. I'm not down with it. Burp, I'll take it to the top. I'll take it to the top. It's okay. It's okay, man. Oh, man. Come on, mama. I guess I'll just keep... I told you not to call me mama anymore. I'm a grown-ass man. I'm getting fed up. Sick and tired of everybody calling me Mama Pig. Started out as a joke, which is fine, I laughed. It is damn ridiculous now.
It's true. He is the bitch of the whole family. I mean, you know, he does all the women's work. You know, he's cooking the steaks. You know, I'm sitting back drinking the Cosmopolitan. I mean, I'm, I'm being the man. I'm a grown-ass man, and they call me mama. That's bullshit. What would I rather have it be? I don't know, Geronimo? Don Quixote? Shit, I would take bacon at this point. It's better than Mama Pig. It's so hot in here. It's not that bad. It's only like 70 degrees in here. Oh, God. I'm feeling really itchy. Let's use this on this body powder. I'm trying to figure out if, if I should use balls or dick in this sentence. All right. I'm thinking it over, and uh, I know my temper got the best of me. And... What? what the fuck What's the problem? It got a little weird. Oh, baby pig, you too, man. We got a new producer coming in. I'm really excited. Uh, she's been uh, working with a lot of great acts. Glad to meet you. We're going to start our uh, recording right now. All right. You guys ready? Yeah, we're ready. All right, good. All right. <clears throat> sing like a butterfly. I will. I'm going to sing just like you, baby. Just like a butterfly. All right. I'm going to be wearing this mask because it's really going to step out my vocals. It's going to really make a pop. Okay. All right. Here we go. Test one. <laughs> Big puked again. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh. Again? Shit, he did it again. Oh, uh, something bad I hate. Uh, oh, that stinks. Yeah. Uh, that really does stink. Oh, god. Oh, oh, it smells like a baby's uh, diaper. Hey, oh. hey dude, dude, turn the camera off. We don't oh, have to see this. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm really sorry. What is he still filming for? Why are you. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Guys, I need some help. Uh, I think I need to go to the emergency room. Oh, this isn't good. This isn't good. You should probably take the mask off. It's oh, it's fermenting in here. This is disgusting. I'm disgusted right now. Unfortunately, uh, because of Mama and Baby Pig, the producer left. Which basically puts it in my hands to really save this entire project, this entire album. So I'm going to have to take over. What are you guys doing? Playing football. I don't think so. We got stuff to do. Get back to work. The producer leaves, do a photo shoot. I've been in one picture. Papa Pig's been in, in all of them. I really gotta cut the fat on this. And I think that I really can do this. I, I think that I am the perfect model of a producer. I mean, why not, right? Come on. Get on! Come on! Let's go! Let's do this. Okay. Baby Pig, I need you to come down here. Just, just like that. Eye of the tiger. Right there. All right? Okay. All right? Mom Pig, I need you right down here. Like a painter. Just right down there. Yep. Yeah. Just yeah. get down. All right. All right, get as close to this as you can. All right, okay, cl closer, closer into the closer. Yep, yep. Keep like going. Like this? Yep, just like that. Just like that. All right, ready? I think it's great that uh, Papa Pig has taken it upon himself to dress us up and parade us around like we're in some sort of fucking baby pageant. He told us to look half as good as he did, if that was possible, and then he had that smug look on his face because he's an asshole. I don't close it together. Closer, closer. All right, stay right there. All right. All right, let's get, this picture. Picture. let's get this picture. Wait, All right, oh, ready? Ready? This? Stable. One, two, three. I can't. No. Whoa, this is, I think what the hell? That was no. a great shot. Play. That was a great shot. That's ridiculous. It, it makes us look stupid. Oh, what the, what? stupid? I look great. You look great. Why, why are we, we standing stupid. next to you? Yeah, why can't we all just stand as equals rather 
rather than you know, laying it on top of us you know, or using this as armrests. What I would expect is because you're not an artist. No, no, wait, 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 wait. No, that's not right. That's what? not. What? Well, uh, you're like rubber. You're like a Barbie. All right. Come here, Barbie. Yeah. In there. All right. There we go. There we go. All right. You move. Okay. Here, watch. Watch what I do, and then do what I do. Okay. Here we go. All right. Ready? Here we go. And this is what you're giving me. And this is what I want to see. Uh, that's exactly what I did. That is not an example. Oh, I want. I will expect this from you. You're not an artist. You don't understand. Yeah, okay. You don't understand. Yeah, you're right. I know. Look at me. You're giving me this, and I want this. It's the same thing. It's not the it same thing. thing. It's not the same thing. I'm just trying to give us the best photo shoot we can get, and you're giving pose. me this. Let me do the pose again. Which one? What did I do? Okay, ready? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna rotate. Ready? Boom. Yeah, it's the exact same thing. No, no. Watch again. Ready? One, two, three. Boom. You're crazy. I'm not. I'm done. I'm not even working with you. You know what? It, 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 this is the same is bullshit every time. What the? What does it matter? Honestly. Like that? Like that? I'm going to be twisted. I quit. Fuck you. I really don't know what the problem is, but Mama Pig seems to be uh, regressing from the band. He seems a lot more agitated, and I think it might be because he has a female name. Alright, let's do this. I'm not quite sure what his deal is, but lately I've been seeing him lighting up crystal meth. He took it a little too far. I'm a sex Santa Claus with a sack full of treats. Lift up the blanket, I left a gift in the sheets. Hung like a rhino, even though I made a straw. I'm a scarecrow, bitch. Cacao, cacao. It's vocal time. It's vocal time. Come on. Just get in that, get in that groove. Get in that groove. Get in that groove. You know it. You know it. Stands upstairs, shirt off, bare chested, like he's something to look at, and just beats on his chest. I actually kind of felt sick in my stomach. Are you serious? Dude, it's, it's a microphone. Just put it by your face and sing. Now you just look ridiculous. You look like you're, you're ready to pole dance on the microphone. If you're about ready to get on with this, I got some shit I would like to do today. You know, you didn't put the laundry in the goddamn washer the other day. I had to do that shit. Me, Papa Pig, I had to do that shit. All you did, you, I got fucking underwear on the ground with skin marks in it, and you don't do shit. When I was washing his laundry after he didn't do what he was supposed to do, I went to his pocket and I pulled out a ticket stub for Sex in the City, the movie. He also, for Christmas, wanted the notebook on Blu-ray. I do the dishes, I make your ass dinner all the time because you're having magical, magical sightings of lyrics that you just saw. You and suck I at cooking! You're the worst cook ever! Man, you have burnt corn! How do you burn fucking corn? My, uh, my favorite memory of Piss on Feet would probably be, uh, after a show, this girl came up to me and said, Are you David Bowie? So I thought to myself, fuck it, why not? I'm David Bowie. That was not very good sex. You don't have to do your own backup vocals. It's authentic this way. It is bullshit that way. It's authentic this way. I'm a sex Santa Claus, Santa Claus. Oh, he's got them treats. That's not even the rhythm of the song. That actually does not fit in the song whatsoever. What you just did was a waste. You fit your mom in the song. Beyonce, Sting, Papa Pig. You know, if this one was to fall apart and I had to, you know, do another job, I'd say porn star. You know, I'm not, I'm not the biggest guy out there, but I make up with my acting ability. I can make people cry.
th does Beyonce need Destiny's Child? Hell no. If I were to leave Piss on Feet, boy, I'd, uh, I don't know, I might go into teaching. Not, not little kids. Fuck little kids. I hate kids. When you watch one of my films and you see my face, and I'm shedding a tear as I'm railing her really hard, you'll understand. You'll have your, your dick in your hand stroking, but you'll be crying at the same time. Have you ever cried, Max? Personally, as far as an artist, I feel really stifled by the band. When do I get some me time? I've been carrying this band for seven years. Seven years. Carrying it with my voice. Your voice I'm, is bullshit. Oh, 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 okay. It's always been about oh. you. It's never been about the music. Oh, it's, it's about, about the music. You, you know, I'm working you. on my own music now. Wait, wait. It's a retrospective of disco. Disco. That's right. Where have you been? It's going to be experimental. It's going to have lots of tambourine and triangle sounds. And don't forget, I'm going to have, as a stage show, black mambas coming out of like those jars and they're going to come up and, and it's going to be like the ones that like spit the, the venom. So then it's gonna spit venom into the crowd. It's like a Dadaism kind of thing. It's like it's like anti art, and, and it's gonna it, they're gonna they're gonna be going like this out their eyes and screaming and stuff like that. And then you know what they're gonna do? Then the, then then they're gonna look at me and say, "He is the greatest artist ever, not musician, not guitarist, not vocalist." Artist, because what I do is art. Go to hell, piss on feet. Oh my gosh, I've been collaborating with the Bee Gees. That's what I've been doing. They haven't been popular since the 70s. What do you think this bear's for? His idea of the Bee Gees, if, if you were to go find him right now with the Bee Gees, he's under a bridge downtown with three homeless guys. You, you don't even know what you're doing. I'm riding my magical steed. Oh, now, you're, now you think the microphone stand is a magical steed. It you is. You have lost it. It is. You are crazy. This is the magical steed that takes me to the Wonderland. You're on. I'm on stage. You're on PCP is what you're on. Mm. Brush its mane. I know what you and the Bee Gees have been doing. Lots of drugs. Uh, Did you put a goddamn shirt on? I am piss on feet. I'm everything this band is. And everything that it stands for is me. Papa Pig. You might as well change it from piss on feet to Papa Pig Project. That's what it is. That's what it is. All your vocals, every last one of them that you did, I redid. I redubbed all your vocals. What was I supposed to do? I heard crap. It was the biggest load of shit I'd ever heard. Yeah, he sucks. I read it all. And honestly, to tell you the truth, if I knew how to play drums, I would have redone Baby Pigs too. He fucking sucks. I mean, that's all. He's just an arrogant enough asshole that he would do something like that. It's just something that we've come to expect from him. No, you know what? Go to hell. Go to hell. Uh, quit. Uh. When you see the man standing there with no shirt on, being on his chest, it's just kind of hard not to laugh at him and try to take him seriously. <laughs> about Papa Pig leaving the band. In the words of the Reverend King Tut, Shalom. We don't have to re-record all of his vocals. We just have to make it sound like it's somebody else. So if we put a robot effect, that way he can't say, oh, you know, you need to give me writing credits because I wrote these songs and I, you know, no, it's a robot. Who doesn't love a robot? You know, you just talk about blah, 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 blah. You know, T Pain sounds like a robot half the time. Shit. He, he, he put a fucking password on all of them. Would you, uh, would you expect any less from him? Well, hang on. Let's try to crack this code here. Let's try Papa Pig. I think we're good to go. Um, I changed all of uh, Papa Pig's vocals to a robot. So hopefully. Hopefully it sounds good.
some music. It's a great name. It is a great name. Is great it means name? you keep the house, okay? You make sure that everything is okay in Papa Pig's world, I mean, in Piss on Feet's world. Wait, you didn't say Papa Pig's world. I meant, uh, no. No, I didn't. He said I Papa meant, Pig. Said Papa I, I was talking about myself. You really and I think that he is your I mean, girlfriend, don't you? I, no. I really want to air out all these problems that we have in our band and really get things set up. You know what I mean? Don't you guys agree? Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, so I once, a good idea. Yeah. So once I'm done, then we can go back to recording. I think that Baby Pig is the biggest bitch here. Um, he, I uh, smell, because you smell like clam chowder, first off, the Manhattan kind. Ooh. I take a shower bi-weekly. Yeah. Well, Boston's yeah, Boston clam chowder is way better, and you smell like Manhattan kind. <laughs> this isn't my dog. No, I think it is your dog. If it was my dog, this dog could turn into a rhinoceros. I think I was lucky enough to get the androgynous nickname, the baby pig. Because you're a bitch. I am a man. Look at all that hair. You took my beard shavings and glued that on. I don't even feel like you guys stifle me. You run this goddamn band. I try. We do everything that you tell us to. You can write music. So what? I wrote music last night after I ate a big old batch of beans. Mama Pig, I just think that you are a dirty asshole. You're more feminine than you are masculine. That's why I called you a dyke. I mean, I'm happy. I'm good. This has made things considerably worse. I, I don't think so. I think we're ready to go back to court. Let's get let's get this album done. We have 401k? You did. You, you did have 401k. Now we only have like two hundred and a half Ks. Uh, I would say you probably have about twenty buck K. I started coming up with an idea, and I was finishing it up today, and I kind of cut my finger a little bit, and that little cut, which I thought turned into a water fountain of blood, and I mean I could see my bone. That's how deep it was. I, he was messing around with some, some paper, gave himself a paper cut. And... All I could think about is that, you're damn right, I bleed for piss on feet. It doesn't prove anything about how loyal he is for this band. It just proves that if we leave him alone and there's scissors and paper, he's gonna get hurt. After the film crew came in, sat us down, we watched the rough cut of the film, I have to say, I am extremely, extremely happy about it. I love the film. Absolutely loved it. You know why? Not because it makes the band look good. He looks like a jackass the entire time. Uh, the lighting is inconsistent. There were often times that the camera operator would just press the record button and then go smoke a cigarette outside, not paying attention to anything that he was shooting. It really showcases this band in a positive light. It makes me look like I'm a genius, which I am. So I'm really happy that that conveyed through the film. And the best part is he walks around telling everybody how amazing he looks. He, he's such a jackass. He doesn't even see it. There are a lot of bad jump cuts. There are a lot of um, blank spots and uh, camera flubs that it just really seems amateurish. I want to go watch it again. I love the film. I love it. They're not quite as good as me, but they're still part of the band. Don't try to pass off a shitty documentary as art. <laughs>